Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about variables in Automation Anywhere A360 version. Also, we will discuss what is variable and what are all the types of variable available in A360 and how to use that variables in real time case and also what are all the different types of the question will be asked in variable concept. Everything we will discuss in this particular session. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Without wasting the time, directly we will go to our first part, what is variable. In terms of definition, variable is a value that can change depending on the condition. Very simple definition I have used here. For better understanding, I will give you one real time example. Example, one of the person is working in hotel and he will get some fixed salary called 10K. And also he will get some tips from the customer depending on the situation. If the customer is happy, he will give the tips more. If the customer is not happy, then he will not give the tips, right? It's depending on the customer mood, he will get the tips. This tips will vary depending on the situation. That particular varied part, we will call it as variable. The same concept you can read with our technology variable also. Our technology variable also will change depending on the condition, depending on the situation, how the developer are developed, the bot. So we will directly go to now our slide. I hope you have understand with this particular scenario what is variable if you are not understand please comment on the video definitely i will try to give some more example about the what is variable the next part is variable in automation anywhere a360 we have a four different types of variable one is user defined variable predefined variable credential variables and global values we will see one by one what is user defined variable. So to understand this one, we will directly go to our Automation Anywhere Workbench. In the Automation Anywhere Workbench, in the left hand side of your screen, you will get a variable panel here. Okay. So in the variable panel, you can see your variable, right? So this we will call it as user defined variable because user will create by his own whenever it is required to create a variable in the user defined case we have some rules because we, you can create by your own rule but we have a standard rule in automation anywhere to make it universal standard okay so directly we will see what are all the standard we will use it to create a user defined variable to create a user defined variable we will use a best practice you can see in my screen example if you are using a string variable you have to use a prefix called str if you are using the number variable you have to use a num so like this we have a so many other best practices for the subtype of the variable we will see now how to create this user defined variable in our automation anywhere a360 workbench to create a variable, you can see here plus symbol, right? To click on that particular plus symbol, you will get one beautiful window called create variable. In the type section, you have to select which type of the variable data type you need it. Example, if you need a string, string means if you want to store the name of the person or name of the city or any of the word which is having the characters right a b c d so that you can use a string if you want to hold the age of the person or data uh, age of the person or value of the product then it will you have to hold the value in number means digit like that we have a uh, so many other subtypes of the variable one by one we will see in the next session but in this particular session we have to see what is exactly the user defined variable and how to create in automation anywhere 
so now i will take a string variable next come we have to give the name here how to give the naming convention for the bot we have some standard rule as i told here we have a standard rule right so str will start from str prefix same way to create a variable we have a some variable naming rules we have a four variable naming rule you can use any one of them most highly used is camel case in the automation anywhere projects but you can use any of the naming rules this is one of the question will be asked in interview so that's why you have to first analyze what is exactly the different types of the naming rules the first one is camel case camel case is a one which will begin with a small letter if it includes more than a one word the first letter of the subsequent word will be capitalized example also i have given here if the first letter is start with a smaller letter and if you have a two words example here base url it will start with a capital letter this particular example is camel case the next one is pascal case pascal case is a variable name begin with a capital letter say difference is you have to just analyze okay camel case is a one which will start with a smaller letter pascal case is a one which will start with a capital letter right so this difference you have to remember so if it includes more than one word then again same way how we will follow in the camel case same way in the pascal case also we will follow the first letter of the subsequent word will be likewise be capital okay here the difference is the first letter of your variable another one is we have kebab case variable name in the kebab case begin with a small letter same way how we will use it in a camel case okay but here the difference is if you have a more than word word you have to use a hyphen symbol between the two words example here base hyphen url right everything is similar to your camel case but you have to use a and you have to use a hyphen symbol between the two different word and also that two different word will start with a small letters so that is very important and next and last one is snake case it is similar to the kebab case it is very much similar to the kebab case only here difference is instead of hyphen you have to use a underscore so these are all the four types of the variable naming rule but highly used is the first one camel case you have to start with a small letter str next if you have a two different word first letter should be word of the first letter should be a capital letter after that you have to maintain a small letter i hope you have understand this naming rule if you are not understand please watch the video on naming rules so directly we will see now how to create in automation anyway right so here i want to create a person name or i want to hold the person name then we will start with str next thing is p is a capital p e r s o n n is a capital n a m e so like this you can use a variable str person name and also you can give the description here this is person name so like this you have to give the naming convention and you can use a description about the particular variable and click on the create this particular variable we will call it as user defined variable whenever you want to use it you can use the user defined variable which is already created by yourself so next one is we have a predefined variable what is predefined variable this predefined variable is a one which is already created by our automation anyway in the back end example system in the predefined variable panel if you go to the system you will see a install path a task executor a invoker and what is the particular task will do everything they have mentioned in the black color screen i hope you you can see that pop up black color pop up you can try with 
any one of your system variable if you need it in your particular project. So this predefined variable, we will call it as computer generated variable. The next one is credential variable, right? Third one is credential variable. What is credential variable? Which is very important. This is the part of the user defined variable, but we will consider as a separate variable section in automation anywhere because credential is a one which is highly secured, right? Our password will be there or our privacy data will be there. So that particular thing, we will call it as credential vault. We will see in another video, I will attach in the description. You can go to the description link and see the credential vault video. You will understand what exactly the credential and what is the credential vault. Now we will see how to get the credential vault values in our real time project using credential variable. So directly you can go to your automation anywhere screen and variable panel, click on the create variable and take the type as a credential. And here you can use a same naming convention, which is already already I have showed. Okay, you have to use for a credential CRE. This is a standard one. We will use it in our all projects. CRE for credential. So if you want to create a credential of password, okay, CRE password. And you can mention here a description. This is password of website. Okay, so like this, you have to mention the description also. Here, one more thing we have. So to get the credential, you have to use a pick action here. So you will get a pick credential option. So this locker credential attribute will be created in credential vault. So again, if you want to know about more about the credential vault, I will attach the video in the description. Please go and check that video. You will definitely get what is exactly the credential vault and how to create and what are all the roles available in the credential vault. Now we will see how to pick the credential. So just to refresh, you will get a locker here. I have one of the test locker here. So I'm taking as a test. Next refresh and take the test as a credential and pick the value as a test. So I have all the tests which is created by me in the credential world. So now, so this we will call it as a credential variable section because you cannot see any of the password or any secured values in this particular variable panel. So that's why we will call it as this particular credential variable as a separate variable in automation anywhere a360 i hope you have understand this one if you are not understand i have mentioned the another video link about the credential world you can go and watch so next type we have global values what is a global value global value is a one which will be created by your admin so it is not available in your community version I can show you one of the screenshot of enterprise version. So you will be having a variable called global values in the admin role of your enterprise version in your company version. Who will create a global values? Admin can create a global values. Only the admin will have the access to create a global value. You can see here, you can create a global value and those can be used globally in your project means once it is created by the admin every one which is which they will be in a, your team right your team member or your colleague can access in their system with the permission of admin in order to create a global variable you need to have the aae admin role again automation anywhere is totally a role based access so you have to have the AAE admin role, then only you can create a global values. To access the global value, log into the control room, navigate to the manage section and click on the global values. So if you want to access, so you can go to 
manage and here you will get global values as i told community version is not having the feature to create a global values but you can see in the community version that tab okay this we will call it as a global values what is the advantage of the global values so this will be the question will be asked in interview what is the advantage did you work on the global values advantage of the global value is very simple no need to create again and again if you are using in each and every project of your company example company name or uh, mail port address mail address or mail uh, uh, what you call server name okay any of that kind of the values or a installation path everything you can create in a global values which will be used everyone in your team and no need to create again and again and this particular access will be created by admin role person so this is one of the question they will ask who can create a global values only the admin can create a global values in enterprise version and in the community version you don't have that particular global value section i hope you have understand what is variable and what are all the types of variable in the automation anyway we will see the next one is how to use this variables in the real time i hope you have understand all the scenarios which discussed in this video if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to the get more a related videos so directly we will see in the next session as i told we will discuss how to use this particular variable in your real time projects thank you very much happy learning if you have any question you can ask me in a comment or you can directly connect with a whatsapp linkedin or any of the social media which is available in the description please see the description you can connect with me for any help thank you very much